avid royal followers and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Harry and Meghan shocked the world back in January with the announcement they and their young son Archie would no longer be participating in royal life. The couple have been living in Los Angeles during the coronavirus lockdown. Now, royal author Nigel Cawthon claims Prince Charles offered his son and daughter-in-law support, but he was unable to persuade them to stay. Mr. Cawthon told the the son's fabulous. He no doubt personally regrets the fact that he won't see his son and family as much as he otherwise would have. He likes tradition and order. He, I think he genuinely made an attempt to support what Harry and Meghan were looking for as long as it wouldn't upset other HRHs. In truth, however, it wasn't a lot he could do apart from offering moral support. Mr. Cawthorn went on to explain how he thinks the future king is unlikely to try and get Harry to re-enter the firm. He continued, For the sake of this firm, he will feel this outcome is better that the monarchy is small in size, rather than a constellation of stars in separate orbits. Both Harry and Meghan faced furious backlash this week, as royal fans demanded the pair lose their titles. Since stepping away from the royal duties, the couple have ceased using their HRH styles, but they can still use their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles. In their video shared by the Queen's Commonwealth Trust on social media earlier this week, Meghan and Harry said it is time to get a little uncomfortable and right the wrongs of the past. The Duchess, the Duchess, Vice President of the Trust, said, We're going to have to be a little more uncomfortable right now because it's only in pushing through that discomfort that we get to the other side of this and find the place where a high tide rises or ships. Equally, does not put anyone on the back foot. It puts us all on the same footing, which is a fundamental human right. Since their comments, Oxford Pro Professor Nigel Bigger, who is leading the University of Oxford project to analyse the impact of Britain's imperial past, challenged the Sussexes' claims there needs to be more, a moment of reckoning within the Commonwealth. He told the Daily Telegraph, My view is that I don't think the Commonwealth has anything in particular to be ashamed of. There were parts of our history that were bad, but that's not particularly remarkable. The idea that we all have a rosy up view of the empire has been simply good and nothing ever bad happened. I'd be very surprised if most Brits aren't aware of their involvement in the slavery. I find the notion that there's some dirty secret about the Commonwealth extraordinary. Mr. Bigger added the history of both the Commonwealth and the British Empire must be studied using a balanced view, which takes into account the horrors of slavery as well as Britain's work to abolish it. However, he acknowledged the discussions into the possible wrongs of the Commonwealth should indeed take place if its member states started asking for it. Following the pair's eyebrow-raising speech earlier this week on the Commonwealth acknowledging its past, more royal fans have called for the pair to lose their titles. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next video.